Hi, it's Joe Grotesque, and this is The Thought Process. Now, everything I want to talk about today, I just kind of want to forewarn everyone. It is not my intention to offend anyone. Regardless of if you're of a very scientific mind or a theological mind, it's not my intention to offend anyone. I'm perfectly fine with those of you that might consider me a moron. This is just what I know is truth from my own experience as an observer. Being very introverted most of my life and feeling kind of isolated from the rest of the world, that, that sort of only left me with one option, and that was to be an observer. So with my 35 years of observational knowledge, I'm going to attempt to answer the age-old question, what is the meaning of life? I only wish there were a simpler way to answer that. But I'm going to try to answer it in the most simplistic manner I know how. In the shortest terms, the meaning of life is to experience. Most of you have probably heard someone describe the human race as being one. We are all one. Well, what does that mean? Well, the best way I can explain it is that we all derive from a singularity. Regardless of if you believe that singularity is God or what caused the Big Bang, it really doesn't matter. Because this can be explained in a way that can be understood by both theological and scientific minds. Out of that singularity, aka God, or aka the Big Bang, derived duality. Duality echoed throughout eternity. The energy radiated from the explosion created sound. The sound was condensed to a concentrated vibration. This vibration created an illusionary playing field. Now our significance, the meaning of life, is to experience, to observe. So that illusionary playing field seems real. To transport that illusionary playing field into a reality. For reality only exists with perception. Our eyes and ears are perceptors to the source. And there are even those who lack those perceptors that still make observations for the source. To know what it's like to be me. To know what it's like to be you. For a god to know all things, he would need to experience all things. For the universe to exist, there must be those that bear witness to its existence. There is no such thing as insignificance. So anytime you feel insignificant, just remember, the meaning of life is to be who you are. In all the things you see in yourself as imperfection, there is perfection, for you are exactly the way you're supposed to be. Anyway, I didn't mean to drift off into an inspirational speech there that just kind of came out at the end for whatever reason. And hey, thanks for listening. I love each and every one of you. Good night.